The third learning objective in session seven are bond ratings, and there are two or three prominent uh, bond rating companies. You've heard of them, Standard & Poor's, Moody's, Fitch's, and, and several others. Uh, those are the most, uh, some of the oldest and most prestigious bond rating firms. And basically, they rate the bonds according to their uh, company's financial statements. So they look very carefully at the strength, financial strength of the company, and then give the uh, bond an attendant rating. Um, first of all, the high-grade bonds you will see are listed at A, AA, AAA. Uh, they are to the left of this chart. Uh, this indicates a tremendous capacity to pay interest and principal back to the bondholders. As you move to the right, on this um, scale. You'll see some Bs in there. You're getting into lower quality bonds, kind of like the bonds that uh, Michael Milken and, and others sold. Uh, junk bonds, you may, you may call them. Uh, GM is currently rated a junk bond because of its uh, precarious financial uh, stature at this point. At this point, anyway, they hope to pull and strengthen their financials and, and move to the left of the chart more back into the A range and AA and AAA range. Um, obviously, the lower the risk, with a higher grade bonds of lower the interest rate. As you move to the right of the chart and get into the uh, junk bonds, you're going to see higher and higher interest rates to attract investors to take on riskier investment. And if your bond is rated D by Moody's or Standard Poor's, you want to stay away. That bond is in default.